Hello YouTube, I am back with another video and it's going to be part of my art book flip through or overview, overview series. Today I'm just going to be looking at O'Grates, Sky and Blast or Sky and and Blast but I'm, I'm not going to call it that so basically I'm just going to be going through both the books, well, both of the art books and you know just rambling, just you know a casual art book look like overview or flip through. I'm gonna start with Blast because I got this first and you know I think this technically oh, come up come up came first I don't know oh, oh, oh. oh okay let me put this oh yeah let me just say yeah this is just the, the the box or the cover it came with nothing special just you know the cover anyway onto the art book let me throw that over there, and this amazing cover. I might have to censor some things because he did. I know Ogre did some not safe for work things before he did like you know serious manga work. So I'm gonna be censoring that. So it is what it is. But um, yeah, let's start with those. Let me make sure that the camera is picking up as much as I can, so you guys can see everything. Also, I'm going to probably put some timestamps between different series so it's more easier to navigate through the video. Since this may be a long video, um, original work, I don't think this is from anything. I don't, if it is, oh, by the way, the glare too, I'm going to be like shifting, like, you know, the book so that the glare doesn't kill you. Okay, starting with Tenjo Tenge. Once again, I never read this because... I thought the story was absolute trash. <laughs> um, I first watched the anime, but um, I then tried to move on to the manga, but I, I couldn't get into it. I had too much flashbacks. Um, did like this character, very iconic. Um, I think her name is Maya. Yeah, this is a page I'm gonna have to censor because nudity reasons. But um, yeah, I would say I, I really, <laughs> his writing style is pretty bananas, but I will say his art, it was definitely good. Well, it, this is still like more early, his early art style, because he definitely doesn't draw like this now. I would say it's still relatively good for what it was at the time. Although you, you will see like a major jump in quality, like from what that, like from the beginning of Tenjo Tenge to sort of the middle and end of it. Yeah, we got two sisters, Maya and Aya, I think. And more support. I really like this. Ooh, this is a nice color spread. If I recall correctly, he used Copics, I think, to color most of these. Oh yeah, definitely censoring that. Uh, yeah, this is what I'm talking about. Like his art, like sort of here. Definitely, it's like evolving. The guy that I thought was the main character, but wasn't actually. So he was um, Nagi. Yeah, this guy is the main character. I, this, this fact pissed off a lot of people, which I find hilarious. Because we all thought this guy was the main character, especially since the first episode had him wash, absolutely destroy the main character. But I think the manga actually makes fun of that, that people think that he's the main character. But in the end, he was the one to fight the... Actually, let me not say too much spoilers because some people actually might like this manga. Let me bring this up a bit. I really like this, the lighting on the white hair. Yeah, I like, this is really cool. And anyway, I will say, his writing in Air Gear, although it wasn't the best, I would definitely say it's, it was better than Tenjo Tenge. And I, to be fair, I can't really talk since I haven't watched it or read it all the way through. Uh, I have enough. Still, Tenjo Tenjo, I think so. Yep, it still is. I remember this guy had like a whole flashback, like the whole arc about his origin, his story, like regarding his brother. Oh, this is still Tenjo Tenjo. Oh my god! Like, look at all this detail. I don't know if he drew this by hand or if this is like, like a certain brush. But like, 
Actually, this may all just be a brush. Never mind. Did I say hand-drawn detail? It might not be that. Because I think there is a rose brush on, I think, maybe Clip Studio. Or is it like Photoshop? I think this guy is Bob and Nagi. I need to cut his hair. I like this. I like this cool sticker or tag art style. I hate his hair though, I hate his hair. Nice like some weapons, some like props with the characters and them. Really nice. I'm censoring this because uh, hell no. Uh, although I'm not really monetized yet, I sort of want to have this video be seen as much people as possible. Yeah, his art style will really develop at this point. Has a more realistic rendering. I don't know if this is this is not a self portrait, right? No, it's not. What am I saying? This is still Tenjo Tenge, right? Yep, still Tenjo. Nice motorcycle here. Oh, that is a long shot. Then. Okay, this is Nagi. Um, this is probably spoilers. I don't think I should worry about spoilers because um, Nagi sort of gets consumed by I don't know this inner spirit thing and becomes sort of the final villain. And the guy that we thought the main character is has to fight him as the final boss, like when he's in this form. And he, and he wins, so uh, yeah, wait till we go him. I really like this. This, I don't know, this is very cool. This blood splatter. Nice, nice control colors, like, like mini two tone, like this warm pink, purple, and the blues. Like a full painting doesn't need all these colors. All sometimes it just needs two or three main colors, and that's the entire painting. A really nice one too. Like a really soft rendering here. More Nagi and this character. Nice upward angle, like seeing below with the grating. Really nice. Also nice down top down angles. For shortening, hardest thing to do, but O-Grade always pulls it off. Which you'll see more in air gear, the air gear section. So I'm not talking over every image, like, there's only so much I can say about each illustration he's done. Considering, like, there's two full books about his illustrations. Or Maya, or Aya, and then this. I think, I don't know if this is the final volume, but it has, like, the, the, main, the three characters that were in, like, the beginning. I can find it relatively quickly. Yeah, like that yeah, here, like there. Like it's mimicking past like the first box, box right? Now erotics now. I don't know if I'm gonna make this its own section, but know that I'm going to censor a lot, so damn this editing is gonna be gonna kick my ass. So I'm gonna go through it very quickly. But yeah, this is his art style, like, way back in the day, and it's so evident, like, it's a very classical anime style. Hey, okay, I'm going through this quick, because I don't want to edit so much of this. I don't know where you could find to read any of this, maybe if you look through, like, online, maybe you could find any of this, but... I'm pretty sure it's, like, not safe for work things. Like, even then, like, he still had so much intricate detail to his things, like, these, this costume design. Others, or at least that's what the book says, this is, I guess, all the work. I'm guessing this, like, work that doesn't really have any, like, connected to any manga, maybe, like, personal stuff or character design. Really nice. Yeah, this is, like, different characters. I don't know if he did work for Tekken, I don't know. I'm probably mistaking him for some other artist. I don't know. But he definitely does really good character designs, like... Look at this detail again. Easily could be a character design for like a game or something. Really nice, I really like this. Like, the Sega uniform and the designs. I really like this, this underwater type feeling. By Org Trinity. Now this this manga is pretty bananas, and I have people saying like, 
you know, can you, like, can you explain the story? What is it about? Like, it's so confusing. I'll say this right now. It's pretty bananas. I wouldn't say it's, like, crazy confusing, but good luck trying to find anywhere to read all of it because I don't think anywhere has, like, even the raw, like, scanlations or even, like, any sort of translations. So you're gonna have to, well, learn Japanese, I guess. But the story is pretty wild. It's a pretty surreal setting. But hey, I, I like the art. It's pretty good. Like, like look at this, this detail. Crazy. And he does it. He does this all the time. Like, and yeah. If you, by even just looking at like the art, you could get a pretty good idea how surreal the story is. Like lots of patterns, designs, colors. Like look at like look at this. Like, and mind you, like, these zombie things, this is all, like, normal in the world of Viral Trinity, like. Especially with things with the bio bug and all that. Like, this black and white blue sky, like, knowing what parts to color. Or, this is, um, these are technically the volume covers. Again, look at this. I really like. He has like no limitations when it comes to different like illustration styles. Like it's, it's full of so much detail. Again, more volume cover art. Like, whoa, look at this. Very abstract. We got Fuji and Hosa, Fumio. Fuji and Hosa, we got the, I don't know, should I make this video have some spoilers? I guess it doesn't matter, we have like, not her clone, that's the third one, I think the third one's technically a clone, like there's the real one, and then there's like, basically there's three versions of her, we got Kiwa, once again the third wheel, the obligatory third wheel that has to happen in like so much anime and manga. This guy that's inside of Fuji. I don't know, I forgot why. It's been so long since I read this. But, and even then, like, it's hard to explain the story. Like this. But once again, Fumio. I got the ensemble. Not everyone, just Liberty. Is it? Oh, there's some characters, I think, yeah. I don't know, that's Fuji. And so, Fumio. Yes, this, I think this image better, best describes the quote-unquote trinity between Fumio, I think this is the clone, and this is like... She's not the god of the verse. It's, I don't know how to describe her. But yeah, these three are like... They have a metaphor that they use. They, have like, they use the cup, and like... The cup is like the vessel, or... And they like... It's... And the coffee inside is like the world or the contents. It's very abstract. And to be fair, which is all par for the course of like anything Ogre Ito does because he loves visual metaphors. We got the main cast. Like, we really like this watercolor effect. Like, is this traditional? Like, I don't. He sometimes bounces, I think, between traditional and digital media. But I don't know if this is just a traditional effect on a digital medium because you could do that like say with coral painter you got her birthday scene really beautifully rendered part this is really nice too like all of them celebrating i think this was fumio's birthday or fuji's birthday i don't remember you got this guy i think he was tech he's the strongest bywork hunter i think they got them, they keep them kissing. They also have S word, if you know what I mean. Fuji, Fumio, Hosa. Yeah, these are definitely digital. Like, like these are obviously digital painted pieces. Like, I could tell that. And this, of course, because who could do this traditionally? Oh, sorry, God. Now, this is the final volume with the ensemble and the cast. Is he technically the main antagonist? I think, yeah, he is. He's technically the main antagonist. Got the full index of all the images. And yeah. 
a bit some like some more words from Ogre Ito talking about some pieces once again these two like mimicking mirroring each other in ensemble and um yeah this is the full box art oh well can I call it box art or cover art box art made for video games right and the reason I picked this first is because this illustration is for Sky and yeah yeah, and it says here at the bottom, continue to sky end, or just sky. So, um, yeah, I'm gonna segment this video to that too, and yeah, let's move on to sky end. Blast by Ogreita illustrations. Okay, now we have sky end, or just sky as most normal people call it. Now, this technically, oh shit, this is technically the second art book. Mind you, each of these art books cost like 160 or 170 dollars each. And like, I'll say it was the best 300 plus dollar purchase I made in, in a long time. I do not regret any moment or any cent I spent on this. And um, I think I, I, when I first saw this, oh my god, this glare. When I first saw this um, cover art, I thought these were like air gear characters since you know, Sky, but um. I think these are just characters exclusively made for the cover, because I, I don't I don't recognize these unless I'm an idiot. Maybe you guys could tell me in the comments. Maybe these are characters from Bakuman and Guitaria and so forth. But yeah, let's get to it. Again, sorry for the glare. I, I, I need this so it's not completely dark. Uh, we have Iki or Itsuki. More like, more modern rendition of him. And his 80s. Man, Ergo was such a wild trip. It was, it was fun. It was dumb, but fun. We got Ringo. We got the two sisters. I forget their names because they're so inconsequential. Um, yeah, this is like the first few pages of Ergo. Once again, his art at the beginning is nothing compared to what his art now. Like, once again, not bad, but a preliminary stage to what's to come later. The Skull Saviors. Look at this iconic art. I don't know. I think this is like the inside illustration for like the first volume. Nice, like the tags or the pins here. Sky and. Okay, now we have the, the volume covers. Iki, Ringo, Simka, Agito. Again, like, people like to reference Jet Set Radio, and could they blame them? Because, as you see later, I'll say I'll say why later, but you'll see why. We like this. This is, I like, I like illustrations when it has the whole team in them. Yeah, like this. Like, when they have the whole Kogorasamaru Kogoras squad, like, when they're doing a post, I really like that. More Iki and Simka. Kududu and Tool, Tool Toe. Yeah. Oh, it's a shame. Like we, I, I could have sworn she was gonna. She was the character that should have been the love interest, but like we got written out of that role at the very, very last second. We got Ag Akito and this police guy whose name I forget. Um, yeah, this is the I think album cover for the soundtrack for the Ergo anime, and it's by Skankfunk, or in other words, Hideki Naganuma, which is the composer for games like. Jet Set Radio or Sonic Rush, but um, it's the reason why people, well this and amongst other things besides the skates of course and like the art style with the graffiti and the tags, but people like to say this is sort of like the Jet Set Radio anime. And yeah, I really like this style. I think um, he mentions here in this commentary that he inspired lots of like graffiti artwork or street artwork in his art style when doing these types of illustrations. Like these lanky proportions, like more cartoony, more American or westernized. This would really fit this urban aesthetic, I guess. Iki, Ringo, I really like how in this art book they didn't have just as like colored illustrations. That is more inked work too. Crazy perspective, love it. More inked work. Once again, like he's an expert at doing like motion, like and how it flows and plus you need to know how to draw the body in 3d space like this like this foreshortening going that way okay 
and we can go with her, I think, what's the Thorn Regalia? Literally weaponized wheels or skates. Tragedy what happened to her leg. Is it Ben Heyman? I don't remember. But I think she got her leg cut, completely cut off. We got Akito, we got Lin, Lind? Lin. The, the third personality. It's a behemoth. This guy, and he absolutely got killed. And that was tragic. I, when people, let's just say when people started straight up dying in Air Gear is when we knew things were headed to a crazy direction. That Sleeping Forest or Kovarasamaru. The OG Sleeping Forest, I should say. Bar, well, um, chapter illustration. I have this weird cool overlay page. I don't know what this is for, but like for the later pages they have more sketchy versions of this, which makes sense, it's like a sketch and like a final one, but this is just a pink line art. More Kurasamaru. We got I guess the female members of Kurasamaru. Not really Rango, but I guess not even Kuru, but these two, I think her name is Adachi, the girl that likes um, Kazu and this girl whose name I can't remember, but I only remember her because she likes Agito. Once again, Agito and Akito, Aeon Clock, the guy that could stop time. Once again, her, Iki and Kazu, Kazu and Iki. Um, Kazu is actually my favorite character in all of Air Gear because he's technically the underdog. But see, every fight he's in, he has the best fights in the series. Spitfire, he died, go figure. Akira and Behemoth. I think this is Adachi. We have Sora, let's get go over us tomorrow. This is a Vala cover too, I think. And this is like a really like not messy, but a splash page of like moments of air gear, I think. This page, once again, this looks very traditional, but I don't know if he did this, like, say, with, like, marker on, like, paper or, like, it's an effect he achieved through digital means. I'm pretty sure I mentioned that somewhere if I just look it up and read it. Ringo. Yeah, this is the page I was talking about. Like, you can see, like, this is all sketch work, and I'm assuming he had, like, an overlay and finalized this image. Once again, with the crew, we got Bucha, Iki, Kazu. Agito and Onigiri, the main team of Kogorasama. This page, ah, Christ, I gotta turn the book. This is the second to last volume, I think. Uh, Iki and Rigo and the Birds. Ooh, my technology is making noise again. Ringo, Agito, Kasu, Senka. Uh, these people, these are um, gravity children, I think second generation. Well, they, I think I, um, his name is Arthur and Charlotte, I think. It's been so long since I read Air Gear. It's been like years. Again, more mechanical tech detail. Like, he was so good at this. I'm like, I'm, like a, I'm so glad this art book includes this stuff and not just color illustrations because the strengths lie like in this aspect too. Like I don't know how he inks like this, but I'm glad that he does. Ringo, this is when Rika got well, mind control to being a brain charger. I don't know how that worked. More, more black like inverted images. I don't know why he had included this. I'm not really mad at this, but it's an interesting touch to add to this art book. More a big ensemble of moments from the manga. Kazu, I think this was right when he was fighting, about to fight um, Nike. It's not pronounced Nike in Japanese for some reason. They call him Nike for some reason. This is one of the best fights. Like, Kazu literally tapped in to like every single road. He used all their skills and techniques to beat Nike. Iki, and the, once again the whole squad, this is the final volume 
um, cover illustration, if I'm not mistaken. Kududu, when she is tuning the Storm Regalia, I think, which we never see you can use. We have Killick, who dies. <laughs> Uh, spoilers, sorry. Raiki, once again, I think this um, illustration was used for the extra chapter that they did for Air Gear when Simka challenges Iki because who the hell wants to fight the man that destroyed Sora? Now we have Baki Mugatari. Now, uh, funny thing, well, this is the first volume. Um, I wasn't the biggest fan of Baki no Guitar again until only, I guess, recently? Not too recently, I would say like a year or two ago. And, um, yeah, this is actually, this page is on Volume 1 of the Special Edition um, of Volume 1. I was going to collect the Special Editions, but then those would cost $20 each. Once so again, this was a Special Edition too of Hitagi Senjo Gahara. Oh snap, oh wait. I'm like, what? I'm like, why is this page so thick? It's because it's a full spread. Let me see if I can get this on the camera. Yeah. I would say with an author like Nisi Olsen, like Ogreit and his visual metaphors, it's a match made in heaven. You have some more Shinobu, or Kiss Shot, or however you want to call her. You got the snail. Oh, I don't. I forgot, I forgot her name. Um, you got Hanakawa, the woman with baggage. Um, once again, these are the wall covers. Any like wide illustration was for the, um, the special edition wall covers, which I should have got, starting from one when I saw it. Oh, she know, Emi. Got Sawarineko. We got. A monkey's paw, or the devil's paw. Okay, we got the snake. I forgot her name too. And my friend just said his her name. Just said her name. The snake. We got his sisters. Well, one of them is not real, to be fair, but you know. We got Shinobu, kiss shot. Them too. Again, like I was saying. With Nisiosin and his like method of writing and like Ogre's Ogre's method of visually drawing like these metaphors and like intricate surreal detail, it it made sense that he would I guess draw for something like Baki Mogatari. It's very I guess surreal with the aberrations or the abnormalities that happen in the story. We got Doramaturi. I can't say this name in English. Durama Tsurugi and Episode. And Guillotine Cutter. Like, like, look at this. What is, like, whoa. All this detail. Just have the character, just like, you drew the character, and then all this detail after, like, like, it, it makes you think what goes through his head, which sort of bugs me that. It's not a bad thing, but he doesn't have any sketches or like preliminary stages of this work. Like you only see this, like we, we don't see his thought process, nothing. And I guess it's fine because I guess most current art books don't have too much sketches, but it'd be nice to have, nice to see. We got Adoragi wishing he was a tree or a plant. That's what he wants to be. Or black and white, like weird, like monochromatic images that's in the book. becomes a tree, I don't remember. Senju Bahado with a, a plethora of sharp objects, even a ruler, I think that's strong, you know. Or black and white inked at work. <laughs> this scene was funny, I'll admit. Like, how dramatic he gets, which, which is what Ogre does really well. He's a really good witcher. Comedic, dramatic moments. Uh, yeah, okay, shot. Where the manga is now, um, or at least with the volumes, um, actually, let me bring that over here for a second. Give me one second. Okay, I'm back. Um, I just bought this recently, the special edition for volume 14. Um, 
well i'll come back to this later i'm just saying right now like we're at a, i just bought this we're at a good spot and let me just put this over here okay we got the main girls for at least i think this was the first season or at least the main girls for the first season or sanjo bahara not sanjo what am i saying it's a hanakawa i'm mixing up the females kiss shot i think i'll say i he really drew Araragi really well. Like, and the volume cover, I don't know if this is volume 13 or 12, I don't remember. Once again, I think he goes back to his older work for a bit. Yeah, I, yeah, he sort of goes back to his older work. Himi Koden from 1998 to 2003. I don't know if this is a manga, yeah, I think this may have been a manga, or if it, if it, I don't know if it's a doujin she, or doujin she. A Majin Devil. Yeah, I would just say this is more of his early work. I think this is Fanner for Oh My Goddess. Well, yeah, 1995, just other work he's done. Oh My Goddess. If this is Fanner for other works, um, please let me know, because I'm not sure. I never why do I feel like this is from something? This is from Psycho Pass? I think so. I don't remember. And I don't know if this is... This is Blackfield over here, but... I was gonna say Tokyo Ghoul, but... This is not Tokyo Ghoul. We have... Um, this, I think, is Aaron or Levi. Uh, maybe Levi. Yeah, I think this is Levi. Aaron doesn't have that hairstyle. Or maybe it does, I don't know. I haven't seen Attack on Titan in a while. Yeah, I think there's just other work or fan of it. He's done. I really like this. The colors look so really nice. Yeah, just some more extra, like, other work. I thought I really like the cyberpunk aesthetic. Um, the character designs. Let me see if we get closer with this. Yeah. Some character designs he has done. I don't know for what though, to be fair. I don't know if this is like personal stuff that he just did for fun. Some other things. Also, does this man have a Twitter? It, this looks like Twitter like art, but. More illustrations. And um, yeah, we're almost at the end. Yep, this is the blast illustration and it doesn't say to continue on to sky so i think this like you start with blast and finish off with sky and um yeah this is a full illustration it sort of goes on through here i know terrible quality i'm sorry i know the glare i'm terribly sorry and we have the characters for the sky illustration I think this was initially his, um, this was going to be the initial art for the Sky art book, but since I see Sky and here, but um, I think he opted out for more, like, controlled color palette. Yeah, more illustration things. And yeah, more personal art that I don't think is for anything. And the index again, and yes, this is the, this is the final piece of artwork he does. Yep, yeah, you can see the index, and this is for this that I just got, and um, yeah, that's the art book. This was Sky and, or just Sky, because I'm not calling it Sky and and Blast, but um, or also I really like how the art book, like, the dust sleeve, acts like a sort of like overlay, I don't know, I find that really cool, I'm a simple person, I know, but yeah. That was Sky and Blast. Let me get the other art book over here. Okay, ooh, that, that, I knocked my camera off a whole angle. But um, yeah, these are the art books. Now, um, I don't know if you guys want me to do like manga hauls or anything like that since I do collect a bunch of manga. Um, also have like a whole, you know, manga collection. I don't know if you guys even want me to do that since, again, I am an art channel. I'm trying to be at least. But, um, yeah. This is really, this is, we have a good point where Araragi's fighting Kiss Shot right now. It's a pretty bananas fight. 
as if you watch the fight in the movie, it goes pretty, it gets pretty wild, like, pretty wild. So, yeah. Anyway, thank you guys for watching this video. I am going to make this a series in which every time I get a new art book, I'll, you know, flip through with you guys and talk about it, see my experiences and get in. Okay. So, so yeah, expect this to be a new video series of new art books I collect because I recently went down to my to Kinokuniya. I saw the artist from Dora Hedoro, which I keep forgetting her name. But um, yeah, I, if I buy that, I'll do another flip, flip, flip through video like this. And um, yeah, anyway, thank you guys for watching. Um, like, comment, and subscribe if you want to see more videos like this in the future. I'll be back with my regular scheduled artist analysis because I think those are the video. That's the video that everyone wants to see these days. But um, subscribe if you want. And hopefully, I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.